She doesn't look green yet. Oh, poor Timmy. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us. I think they're dead. We are glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. And Timmy is very hungry. He's probably sick. And uh, he's going to infect us all. Dolores would really love to eat something. Ted's stomach is rumbling. So everybody get some food. There we go. Um... Timmy's condition is too fragile. <laughs> you little bitch. It looks like the area is still irradiated. Going to the, uh, to the wasteland right now is unsafe unless you don't mind getting sick. I think we can actually manage for now. I don't think we need to go. We probably should wait. It's not like we're going to get a gas mask out of nowhere. But, you know, it's important that we uh, try to keep it all right. Wouldn't it be fantastic if we could just get out and leave? Oh, yes. Again, Ted is a repetitive man. That's kind of what he looks like, too. But that's alright. That's just uh, his uh, mode de vie way of life. Uh, as long as we're safe, we can stay down here. Uh, Timmy is very hungry. Some water for Timmy would be nice. Uh, today was relatively comfortable, Dolores. Oh my god, Ted. Why are you such a, such a motherfucker? You're going through our supplies, Ted. Uh, yeah, Timmy needs everything the most because, you know, I don't want him to die. Um, the contamination of our town is still strong. Scavenging in these conditions could result in radiation sickness. Let's wait until the next day. This is a joyful time in a sea of grief. It's Timmy's birthday today. Aw, oh, you little you little bugger. Oh, I love you. With your poofy, weird, brain-shaped hair. Um, just like last year, we waited until the last moment to get him a present. But this time, our options are limited to whatever we can find in the shelter. What is he getting this year? You want you want the medic medicine or you want the Boy Scouts? You're going to get the Boy Scouts, man. I'm sorry. Hope you have a good time reading that. Day 10. Ah, oh, look, he's healthy again. Awesome. Great. Day 10. We don't know if Timmy is ever going to be a Boy Scout after the apocalypse, but the Scout Handbook, the Hank Book, is a deadly spider killing weapon in his c capable hands. He's having fun. Timmy has rested and he's feeling better. Dolores will not last long without water. Okay, so Dolores needs water. Awesome. Water is very important. Um, yeah, we uh, we should get Ted out there. So uh, let's pack up. We're a regular family, so we have the occasional argument or two. But it was never as intense as the fight we just got into. No one wants to speak to each other. Let's just hope this won't last too long. Fuck you, Dad. You made me sick. Why'd you make me go out there, Dad? Timmy sounds pretty badass for a wimpy little kid. Whatever, man. Day 11. We stopped arguing, but for how long? Like the good scout he is, Timmy is making the best out of this situation. He even seems cheerful. Today's been fine for Dolores thus far. There's nothing going on with Ted. Nothing new, anyway. Um, yeah, Timmy's all right. Everybody's all right. Good night. Um... Why, why would he take the lock? Like, I don't know what you do with a lock. That's pretty interesting. If you take the suitcase, you can take out more things. Let's just give him the map. I don't know what that does. Send him out there. Whew. Dad's gonna die horribly. Oh, man. That, that map really fucking tied the room together, man. Timmy doesn't eat much, but he should drink. Dolores is fine and well, as much as anyone can be in this tiny shelter. Ted left for the surface. We'll hope he'll be back soon. All right. Um, actually, let's just give it a day, because if Ted doesn't come back, we're fucked. You know. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to, s to leave eventually. It would be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble. 
If that's even possible in this situation, our hope is that our brave soldiers will come to the rescue, uh, come to rescue us, and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter. Dreams of utopia. Timmy had comics about those, uh, so you know they must exist. Truly, all we need to do is make contact with the military. Well, let's see if we can. Oh my. Let's see what that's all about. Day 13. We knew it! The government had not fallen and they're coming to save us. They didn't give exact dates in their radio transmission, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting long. They said they will be in touch in a couple of days and told us to await further instructions. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water. No! If there's one thing we need is water for the Lord always. All right, let's get it. Get that water, boy. Our hideout was approached by a man we did not know. He claimed he used to be an accountant, but now he survives as a trader and a Baba Baba Gambler. He offered us a card game for a better of two water bottles, but we didn't have any cards, and this guy was much, wasn't much of a gambler because he didn't have any fucking cards either. We were just like one stock, but even then we could just fucking play the different fucking game. Jeez, I'm mad. Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is that to set for the kids? One of whom is dead. We need supplies, but we're not getting them like that. We'd sooner rob someone. We sent that man away. Good riddance. Hope you had the time of your life. Like the good scout he is, Timmy is making the best out of the situation. He even seems cheerful. And Dolores wants some food. I hope Ted gets back. That, that scruffy man. Our gas mask, that mask has been badly worn out and doesn't really protect against anything. It's a good time that we do something about fixing it. Let's hope we can fix it. Somebody came in. Oh, look at his nose. <laughs> Whoa. Look at that, buddy. You need, to, you need to wipe that for a second. My, my. And we fixed the fucking gas mask. That's awesome. It looks almost brand new. It's interesting that a scouting handbook sports instruction for gas mask repair. Oh well, let's try it first. <laughs> I like that they say that and then talk about Ted returning. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. Our expedition went directly to the visit of a primary school. Not for education, of course. Oh no. We were desperate for supplies and the school was our best chance of getting them. Everybody adored the lunch lady. She was almost 80 and everything she touched tasted great and smelled of tomato. Now we know our secret tomato soup cans. The biology class had an aquarium. The fish had died since no one fed them, but the aquarium water sh could still be potable, drinkable. There was enough for a few battles. Bouteille. Timmy is very hungry. Life is hard for all of us right now, but the Lord is in good in a good mood today. We hope it'll stay this way. Ted is hungry, and he became infected with gonorrhea and herpes, and he's really tired. So let's give him uh, some and. Let's give him some medical supplies because we cannot have him get sick and infect the rest of us. Um, um, actually, we should be fine. Let's plan another expedition. We can't, like, once you start running short of supplies and you're pushing people out, that's when you start fucking up. We wish we could st just leave. Sitting down here with barely anything to do is driving us crazy. Nice drawing there, Timmy. If you and your dead sister playing volleyball. That's all right. Day 16. God, Ted looks bored. Still, it's better to be safe down here than dead up there. Timmy should eat something. Uh, Dolores needs water and Ted's hungry. Okay. Uh, food. Food. Usually, I, I, I try to keep their food. Actually...